Now that Vice President Kamala Harris is the presumptive Democratic nominee for the 2024 election, MAGA Republicans in Congress have officially filed articles of impeachment against her. The situation has become so ridiculous that even Fox News hosts are calling them out on it. But before we get into the details, if you end up liking this video and want to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. No one here should be surprised. The MAGA Republicans, especially those in the House of Representatives, have proven themselves to be so dysfunctional, stupid, and unproductive that this move was inevitable given their remaining time in the majority. Let's take a moment to understand the larger context. Kamala Harris has been a prominent figure in American politics for years, serving as vice president and now being positioned as the Democratic frontrunner for the upcoming presidential election. This has obviously unsettled her political opponents, especially those associated with the MAGA movement. Their response, the filing of articles of impeachment, appears to be a desperate attempt to undermine her candidacy. Even the conservative media, which usually aligns itself with Republican viewpoints, is finding it difficult to justify this move. Fox News hosts, who generally support Republican initiatives, are openly criticizing the decision, calling it absurd and counterproductive. This bipartisan condemnation underscores how extreme and baseless the articles of impeachment are. It's important to remember that the actions of House MAGA Republicans aren't just about Kamala Harris. They reflect a broader pattern of behavior characterized by obstruction and extreme partisanship. This approach has led to a significant amount of dysfunction in Congress, making it difficult to achieve meaningful legislative progress. Tennessee Congressman Andy Ogles now introducing two articles of impeachment against Vice President Kamala Harris. I used to criticize the Democrats for um, impeachments to nowhere that just made them look angry and like we were school children who couldn't get along on the playground. And so my, my concern here is um, that that's actually now the way the Republicans look. Now the Vice there was so much nonsense in that statement, it's hard to know where to start. Andy Ogles in particular stands out for his stupidity. We'll get to him in a moment and see what he chooses to focus on as a sitting Republican congressman, a member of a party that currently controls the House of Representatives. His priorities are revealing. But first, let's address a few key points. First and foremost, it's important to note that apprehensions at the southern border have dropped significantly. This change is largely due to executive action taken by President Biden, which may or may not be overturned by the courts in the future. This executive action was part of a broader effort to address border security, which included a bipartisan and relatively conservative border bill. This bill was notably supported by the anti-Biden Border Patrol Union and drafted by one of the most conservative members of the United States Senate, James Lankford. The bill also received support from Senator Kirsten Sinema, an independent and Democrat Chris Murphy. This bipartisan bill was designed to address border security concerns in a balanced and effective manner. Despite its popularity and broad support, the bill was ultimately killed by MAGA Republicans. The reason is clear. Donald Trump has expressed both publicly and privately that he does not want a solution at the southern border. He preferred to leave the issue unresolved so that he could use it as a political wedge in the upcoming election. This decision underscores the bad faith with which the Republicans have operated. They have acted in a way that is morally culpable, choosing political advantage over practical solutions to real problems. As a result, it is now up to the Democrats to make this a key issue in the upcoming elections. They need to highlight the bad faith of the Republicans and the fact that President Biden's executive actions have resulted in a significant drop in border contacts. In addition, the fentanyl situation should be brought to the forefront. In previous videos, I mentioned that we have high-tech, state-of-the-art fentanyl detection equipment. However, these devices are currently being mothballed because the MAGA Republicans refuse to fund their deployment. This refusal is yet another example of their bad faith actions. By not allowing these devices to be deployed, they are essentially letting Americans die rather than potentially giving President Biden a political victory in 2024. This brings us back to Andy Ogles and his priorities as a congressman. His actions and focus reflect a larger pattern within the MAGA Republican faction. Their priorities are clear. They would rather engage in obstruction and political maneuvering than address the real issues facing the country. This approach is not only unproductive, it is dangerous. For further context, let's look at how even the conservative media is reacting to these actions. Fox News, which typically aligns itself with Republican viewpoints, has been critical of the official filing of articles of impeachment by Andy Ogles. This level of criticism from a normally supportive media outlet underscores just how out of touch and absurd these actions are. 
We'll talk more about Andy Ogles' priorities soon. But first, it's important to understand the broader implications of these political maneuvers. The actions of the MAGA Republicans are not just about one person or one issue. They reflect a broader strategy of obstruction and extreme partisanship that has significant consequences for the country. Their unwillingness to support practical border security solutions and their refusal to fund critical fentanyl detection technologies are clear indicators of their misplaced priorities. And Andy Agal is now introducing two articles of impeachment against Vice President Kamala Harris. One article for her role in the border crisis and the other for her misleading the American people about President Biden's physical and cognitive well-being. Joining me now is the man himself, Tennessee Congressman Andy Agal, a member of the House Financial Services Committee and the House Freedom Caucus. Congressman, it's great to see you this morning. Thank you so much for being Absolutely. with me. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have your articles of impeachment against Kamala Harris. Tell us uh, where this goes next. Well, you know, obviously we're, uh, we have uh, Bibi Netanyahu here today, and then we'll be recessing for much of uh, August and the beginning of September. So there'll be a pause period, and then obviously I'll, I'll push that and bring these up. But here's the thing. We have a crisis at the southern border. We are being invaded. Our kids, our streets are being poisoned by fentanyl, and then crime is running rampant. She was the border's arms, talking about Kamala Harris, and we have to hold her accountable. And this guy is really stupid, dishonest, and acting in bad faith. He's openly admitting that this impeachment effort is just a political stunt to help Donald Trump in the upcoming election. It's not a real attempt to hold the vice president accountable under the constitutional grounds for impeachment, which include treason, bribery, and other high crimes and misdemeanors. Instead, he acknowledges that this is a bad faith effort to politicize impeachment because Trump has rallied his supporters with aggressive rhetoric. The goal is to paint Kamala Harris as unfit to serve the country, which has nothing to do with the legitimate grounds for impeachment. This is a clear and transparent political ploy, not the first time Andy Ogles has engaged in such behavior. He's a profoundly stupid and unproductive MAGA Republican congressman whose party holds the majority in the House of Representatives. They have the power to work with President Biden and the Democrats in a bipartisan manner to pass common sense legislation, but they refuse to do so. Instead, Andy Ogles became famous earlier this year for sponsoring legislation to rename Dulles Airport in Washington, D.C. after Donald Trump. This was his legislative priority, even though it was a futile effort since it had no chance of passing the Senate. Even Newsmax, a conservative media outlet, questioned the logic behind the move. Ogles' actions reflect the broader dysfunction within the MAGA Republican caucus. Despite holding the majority, they have presided over the least productive iteration of Congress in American history, unable to pass their own partisan legislation. The Freedom Caucus Republicans and the so-called Main Street Republicans frequently cause high-profile embarrassments due to their internal conflicts. Andy Ogle's attempt to rename an airport after Trump is just one example of how he wastes time and effort on cult-like loyalty instead of meaningful legislative work. Out there, having said all of that, Adam Johnson, you're still uncomfortable with articles of impeachment, aren't you? I am, Maria, and I tell you why. I used to criticize the Democrats for um, impeachments to nowhere that just made them look angry and like we were school children who couldn't get along on the playground. And so my, my concern here is um, that that's actually now the way the Republicans look, and, and I, I wish we wouldn't necessarily pursue impeachments that are never going to produce anything. Time to final word. Well, I would say, you know, in that moment when Donald Trump was shot, he paused, he raised his hand, and he made a fist and he said, I'm going to fight for this country. I'm going to fight for you. That's what this does. We're laying out a case as to why Kamala Harris isn't going to fight for the middle class. She's here to destroy it, and we're going to fight for this country. He claims that MAGA Republican congressmen have to do their job. And he says that the first duty of his job is to honor Donald Trump. That would be disgusting and strange to hear from any politician about a sitting president. I would be uncomfortable if Democrats said, hey, I know we're not getting much done. But I want to rename this thing after President Biden because part of our job is to honor the president. That would be disgusting, even though I think President Biden was a pretty good president and I'm an outspoken Democrat. It's even worse to hear it from a MAGA Republican who says it's their duty to honor a former president. It would be bad enough if it were a sitting president, but Donald Trump is not a sitting president. Your job, Congressman, is to produce material benefits for your constituents and for America as a whole, including your liberal constituents. But you're not doing that because you're too stupid and dysfunctional to get anything done because you're part of a cult. It's incredibly pathetic. And this guy should be relentlessly mocked in public until he chooses to resign in disgrace, which hopefully will be very soon. This highlights the legislative priorities of the MAGA Republicans. In addition to filing articles of impeachment against Vice President Harris, they have also convened an emergency resolution to censure her. It's a separate but parallel effort. Democratic Congressman Jim McGovern roasted her and fact-checked her claims 
echoing what Andy Ogles had to say about President Biden making the vice president the border czar. Is, do you think this would even pass in the House if it went to the floor for a vote? Well, you know, there's, there's one way to find out. Let's put it out there, baby. Let's go. I mean, you, you, you don't fight. Uh, you don't stop fighting because the odds are tough. But I think it can pass. Now, look, I don't think the Senate would take it up, but uh, that's on them, not us. You know, we have an obligation to do our jobs. And part of that is to honor the former president and to set the stage. I want to remind you that it's very effective for Democrats to use President Biden's criticism against Donald Trump because Trump is also vulnerable on this issue. Polls consistently show that anywhere from 50% to 65% of the country, depending on the poll, have concerns about Donald Trump's age and mental fitness to be president. There are no similar polls on Vice President Kamala Harris. This is a unique vulnerability for Trump now that President Biden is no longer running for re-election. Democrats should exploit it relentlessly and give Republicans a taste of their own medicine. Here's Congressman McGovern again, speaking out and fact-checking the Republicans who introduced this ridiculous resolution, claiming that the vice president was President Biden's border czar. The first sentence of their resolution says that on March 24th, 2021, President Biden asked Vice President Kamala Harris to serve as the administration's border czar. Mr. Guest, that's not true. Where did you get that? Did you make it up? This is not a true statement. So why is it in the resolution? While the right-wing media may have referred to her as the border czar, she was actually appointed to be the president's representative to Mexico and other Latin American countries. She was not responsible for securing the border as a so-called border czar. This goes back to what Andy Ogles was talking about, the bad faith and dishonesty of the Republican Party. The MAGA Republicans who control the House of Representatives and constantly fail to pass separate resolutions, funding bills, and spending packages within their own conference are the same ones who tried and failed to impeach President Biden as part of the sham Biden impeachment investigation. It took them 15 attempts to elect their own speaker. And then they kicked him out in disgrace eight months later and failed again to elect another speaker until they finally got Mike Johnson. This dysfunction has made this the least productive iteration of Congress, entirely due to their stupidity and inability to govern. Now that they realize that their opponent in November will not be Joe Biden, but Vice President Kamala Harris, they are filing articles of impeachment against her that are so absurd and ridiculous that even Fox News hosts are calling them out on it live on air. It's a ridiculous but predictable move. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, I'm Richard. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.